Okay, yeah. But maybe. Uh, uh. Okay, yeah. Hey, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Ryota Kimura. Uh, and uh, when uh, one hour or so, oh, oh, I present you my project. And uh, uh, I'd like to talk about and discuss uh, uh, various uh, issues uh, related to electronic data. Yeah. And uh, I'm, my name is Ryota Kimura. I'm from Japan, Tokyo. And uh, now I'm staying in ZKM uh, as a residence artist uh, of the Institute for Visual Media. Now, today uh, uh, I will show you basically two works. And one is an uh, uh, entitled work uh, that is RFID subway, uh, subway Ticket Art. Yeah. And uh, next is uh, uh, briefly uh, my work in progress work uh, that I, my, I'm making here. Okay, uh, let's get started. The first uh, RFID work, uh, uh, I'd like to call it uh, RFID uh, uh, because that is, uh, RFID is a, a little bit uh, uh, difficult to pronounce it. So uh, I will uh, call it RFID. It's a nickname of RFID, as you know. And uh, the name of the uh, RFID work uh, is SUI. Uh, this is abbreviation of uh, Smart Urban Intelligence. And I made it in uh, 2006. And the uh, used technology in this work is uh, this. Uh, this is a, a card type of RFID, a so-called smart card. Maybe uh, all of you, or almost all of you here, uh, will know about uh, RFID technology itself or smart card. Uh, such a type of smart card or is uh, now spreading worldwide, as you know. And this card is uh, actually uh, really and broadly used in Tokyo area. Real service. And the uh, name of the card is Suica. It is a uh, basically a railway ticket card, and uh, partly uh, it can be used for e money. Uh, that means uh, we can buy it uh, uh, something in the uh, something drink or so, or with the automat or vendor machine uh, inside the station. And it is a service application, service of JR, that is Japan Railway Company, the corporate service. And in such a situation, the name of the card is Suica, and its abbreviation of a Super Urban Intelligent Card. I think it is a little bit uh, exaggerated word and empty word. What is super? I don't know. The urban, urban is understandable a little bit because it's a transportation system in the urban area of, of Tokyo. So, but intelligent, the who is intelligent? I don't know. It's very, very uh, exaggerated and uh, uh, empty naming, I think. But uh, uh, indeed, uh, uh, almost all the people in Japan don't know about the correct meaning, correct name of uh, Suica card is a super urban intelligence card. But, uh, uh, rather than that, uh, they know uh, this card or service is just as a Suica. And that means uh, uh, it's linked is uh, uh, their uh, corporate slogan. And that is touch and go. That means uh, uh, you can, that we can uh, go through the uh, transportation uh, railway gate uh, very, very smoothly without uh, making queue for buying a paper ticket or traditional ticket or so. And uh, let's touch a go with uh, this smart technology. That's uh, their slogan. And uh, uh, it is related to the naming of this card. That is, or uh, SUI, the SUI, SUI card card. It's SUI card, the smart urban intelligent card. And in such a situation, SUI, uh, or SUI SUI, is a Japanese adverb. That means very, very smoothly. And in Japan, uh, we can say, uh, uh, we go very, very smoothly uh, uh, as a, uh, we can go, or sui sui also. And the suika uh, uh, connotes or represents uh, such a meaning or nuance. And uh, almost all the people who uh, understand the uh, name of the, this card or suika as a sui sui or image of very, very smooth. 
And uh, at the same time, they don't know uh, the correct name of the, this empty word. And related to that, uh, uh, and such a kind of sui sui or naming, uh, sui sui or uh, this uh, super uh, by intelligence card or uh, naming is uh, uh, coined by uh, basically in the uh, particular famous advertisement uh, agency related to this company. And uh, as uh, one, of the, one of the particular image strategy of uh, smoothness or uh, this adv uh, advertisement agency uh, made a particular uh, image character of this card and it is uh, illustrated on this card. And almost all the people in Japan uh, understand uh, this card as a card of uh, very smoothly uh, with a very uh, little bit cute uh, image character. It's penguin. Um, the image of a penguin for Japanese is uh, a penguin that uh, runs through very, very smoothly on the ice also. And uh, as a result of that, uh, in partly uh, as a result of uh, effort to spread this card by the technological developer and the uh, uh, railway company and the ad advertisement agency, uh, including with their particular penguin image character. Uh, it is understa understood by the race very, very cute that almost all the people are very seduced and attracted. Uh, superficially, uh, this cute character and the catchy and uh, memorable naming, Suika. That means Sui Sui, smooth. But essentially, because of its efficiency and comfort uh, based on the smart technology, RFID. However, uh, as you know, oh, almost all the people here uh, know. Uh, it's based on uh, stored electronic data that are managed by others. In this case, uh, mainly this is this other corporation. But uh, things go badly. Uh, if things go badly, uh, such a data uh, is uh, uh, has a possibility to be used by uh, police or government. Anyway, uh, the data are, are stored in the uh, uh, in the card uh, as a history of a movement or a transaction of a transportation uh, can be made up of, as you know, electronic data. So, because of our such a char characteristic medium, uh, it can be analyzed, as you know, by others. Anytime, any place, or for the two, for various administration, in other words, governance. Sorry, it's a trivial. Now, uh, let me explain about the uh, about the uh, technical aspect of this car briefly. Uh, this speaker uh, is based on the particular RFID RFID protocol. The name of the RFID protocol is a Felica. It is originally uh, developed one, um, by a Japanese company, that is Sony. It is ISO uh, 18029. And that is a, uh, this is a contactless and passive RFID. Uh, 30, 30 point, uh, oh, five, six megahertz. This is a protocol of RFID, as you know. And basically, smart card is uh, not active, but passive one. As you know, oh, the RFID technology has a two types, oh, that is uh, active and passive. The active one uh, can uh, transmit and receive the data with the remote control, but the passive one uh, only can uh, receive the data. And such a passivity uh, is uh, also a problem, I think. And uh, almost all the smart car is uh, such a passive one. And in such a situation, uh, incredibly, in this case, or in this card, in this case of the card, huh? in case of this card, sorry, <laughs> there is a particular unencrypted, un not encrypted area in this card. And this is very, very narrow, narrow space, uh, but uh, it can be 
or, or, or uh, 20 records maximum of history of movement of soul is stored and uh, is able to be read out with a simple C code. I don't know the reason why uh, the developer of this card uh, set up such an uh, unencrypted area. Oh, I don't know how to use it, how to use it or uh, good, good point of or such a, an unencrypted un area. Uh, but anyway, uh, there is a, such a uh, not encrypted area in this card. And for reference, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, uh, many of you always know this card. Uh, there is a particular, another type of uh, de facto standard is more spread in the world, uh, RFD protocol. Uh, that is named my, uh, by uh, Philips and developed by Philips, uh, so-called MyFear. The Ferica and the MyFear is, uh, sorry, Ferica and the MyFear is the name of the R protocol. The my fear is uh, uh, ISO 1443, the type A, and developed by uh, Dutch company Philips, the famous company. And it's also contact responsive RFID, and de facto standard of smart card. And uh, though I don't know the real recent situation, but uh, at least uh, 2005 or 2006 or so, Oh, this is this Oyster card. One type of my fear uh, that is used in London subway uh, is actually used uh, by the police for surveillance. The BBC News also reported uh, the Oyster card is now a uh, new police too also. And this uh, is, uh, at that time uh, there was a particular uh, protest by people uh, for civil rights. But uh, I don't know the real situation, uh, recent real situation. And indeed, oh, in such, uh, as I show you oh, now, uh, my fear uh, and Ferica, uh, that is, uh, I mean, uh, such a kind of type of RFID uh, called smart card is oh, now spreading globally, wide widely. And in such a situation, uh, Holland's uh, my, uh, my fear, uh, developed by Philips, is a de facto standard. This is Japanese Suica. Ah, so. It's got a, here is a, here is a, uh, England, and uh, there is a, this card, Oyster card, for London subway. And uh, Holland, or France, and Singapore, and Korea, and China, and Australia, and the United States. Oh. Almost all the protocol is uh, uh, my fear. And the Ferica is this, and uh, maybe this, and Singapore one. And a uh, lot of that is uh, uh, based on the Philip technology. It's not uh, directly related to the topic of today. Anyway, uh, my work, my RFID work is based on this card. And uh, thinking like that, uh, though it is a very, very convenient and smooth and uh, comfortable service uh, based on this technology and achievement of technology, but uh, at the same time it can be surveilled and dangerous. As you know, always, uh, already, technology uh, has two aspects. Uh, in other words, uh, it, it is, as it were, uh, no, no. two-edged braid also. Oh, uh, that means uh, it has a good aspect and uh, at the same time bad aspect, dangerous aspect. And thinking like that uh, and uh, searching about the system of uh, RFID itself, oh, and uh, found the particular unencrypted area in this card, uh, I decided to make my work uh, with this card. And 
In such a situation, objective of the work is uh, following that, following like that, something like that. That is to point out, on the, in a way, ambivalent situation on our existence in the world with this technology by using the same technology, the real service. And as well as that, uh, to point out the possibility and dangerousness of surveillance of data and administration of uh, each individual. This is our basic uh, objective of the work. And adding to that, uh, exploring and uh, trying, trying to understand uh, some strange aspect of characteristic of data, electronic data. About that, uh, I will tell you later. This is the work. And it can be, I think, uh, if I categorize uh, this work, uh, I'd like to categorize it uh, one type of, in a way, bot art using RFID technology. That means uh, the main stuff of this work is reading the data inside the card, and the uh, bot act, uh, automatically interprets them with a very arbitrary or violent way. Yeah, to, represent, to represent this, uh, I link the data inside the card with uh, a very simple uh, artificial intelligence technology. That is uh, so-called rule-based system uh, of the AI technology. I'll show you uh, the movie of this work. This is 10 or 15 minutes or so. This is a very, very ordinary uh, railway gate in the Tokyo area. And almost all the people use this car. Yeah. It's very convenient and highly comfortable. And this is the installation. Computer reads the uh, data inside the card. And first of all, I uh, linked with the uh, uh, movie of the each station, uh, geolocative data, in a way, uh, to magnify uh, the data inside the way. And the history of movement of uh, our audience uh, as a card holder is displayed as a video firstly. And at the same time, this is a staff of uh, this work. Uh, as well as uh, visualizing uh, the video or uh, the root, uh, root map, uh, the particular simple AI uh, appears and analyzes the data. It's a very uh, decisive and arbitrary and uh, violent way. On February 5th, 2006, and at Shibuya. On February 7th, 2006, and now what reads the simple history of movement. On February 8th, 2006, such and such a date, on, you were on February 8th, 2006, there are two cases under Renewal Columbus. Where were you when it happened? What did you do there? Was it good? How did you go home from? On February the 6th, 2006, the news stayed overnight. Ah, the only place to place because there was a film studio. You are now using the smart urban intelligence service. It's one of the most advanced smart technology for administration in the world. You are living in only the. It's not San Jose.
Both takes the uh, card pose as a favorite place, as well as uh, the uh, living place. Shabuya is a good place because you cannot get away from the crowds in Shabuya. You are now using the Smart Urban Intelligence Service. It's one of the most advanced smart technology for administration in the world. Your favorite time. This is a railway route map. The truck uh, line. Over movement uh, inside the car, as well as the video. Iwakacho is a good place because the land price is the highest in Japan. We are now using the smart urban intelligence service. It's very easy to map out history. Up and the atoms, 18 atoms are data moving. Uh, finally, the boat uh, incorporates and integrates in, uh, the analysis of uh, data inside the car and evaluates it. Considering that your efforts consist of weekdays and holidays, you have a bad history. Adding to these, the players you most frequently go to Shabuya. Popping these together, you must be the first to get a freelance hard time effort. It is a very, very uh, arbitrary profile. It's a way both uh, automatically categorized the tendency of the card holders, each individual. It's very easy to back our history. This is another data, another file. Go in camp. 
you are now using the smart urban intelligence service, it's very easy to back our history. Of 20 atoms, 16 atoms are data are moving, whereas 4 atoms are money charges. The remainder of the money is 3,200 yen. The rate of staying at overnight is 40%. Considering that all of your efforts consist of holidays, you have a fairly good history. Adding to these, the pledge you boast frequently go to the field of honor. Putting these together, you must be made as a particular fixed job. Even if you are female, it doesn't matter. You are female with your male at that end. Can lost a lot of people that day. You are now using the smart urban intelligence service. You are now using the smart urban intelligence service. Now your history is being ranked. It's of course your privacy. However, it's a shared history with you and the corporation. If you want to see more, you can access 50 items in the station. You can't access all of them in your home where you can get only 20 items. The rest of the items are administrated by the corporation. Unfortunately, I don't know the reason why it is restricted. But anyway, you can't control these information. Now your data also will be shared with you and me. Because I've sent your data to my server just now. As for the rest, if I know your email address, it becomes perfect. I'll be expecting you send me your email address for the data sophistication. What is your history like? I hope you have a good history. And uh, luckily, uh, this work uh, got a prize uh, in the 2006 free RS electronica uh, in the interactive art category. And uh, I could uh, exhibit this work in Europe and then print. I could show this work to the European people. After that, uh, it is also exhibited in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, the title exhibition is Naked Life. Uh, that is uh, coined uh, from the concept of the uh, Italian philosopher uh, George Agape, uh, who pointed out and speaks about the various uh, administrations after the real globalization from the philosophical point of view. And it has, as I show you, also in Taiwan, uh, there is a particular very similar smart car. And uh, it's taken a long time. Oh, it's Japanese. Ticket to go show has by two. It's okay. This is a Japanese case, but uh, 
Hai omiti. Okay, uh, this is a uh, work. And uh, next, uh, I will uh, briefly uh, some more uh, detail of, uh, of the contents of this work. As you uh, see uh, just now, uh, the bot, uh, artificial intelligence bot, uh, computes and speaks uh, uh, particular uh, various things. And that is, uh, simply put, uh, basically, uh, one, two, three, four, six, five. The first of all, uh, the bot speaks uh, cardholder's living place. Next, uh, the cardholder's most favorite place to visit and the rated to intrusive recommendation. And uh, after that, uh, the bot speaks about uh, after that. Well, at the same time, the bot speaks about the cardholder's record of returning home and staying at overnight or so. And uh, finally, uh, the bot evaluates the uh, analyzation of data uh, and uh, uh, computes the short-sighted, uh, cardholder's short-sighted uh, the assumed profile. Uh, this card of orders or you are such and such person because uh, your data is uh, such and such, like that, automatically. And uh, related to that, uh, uh, something not uh, rather, uh, uh, what's bothering about the station in the history. And here is the ship we are, uh, so da, da, da. And general information about the card. The next, uh, in such a station, how what uh, compute or uh, such a uh, uh, particular kind of analyzation. Uh, this is a concrete example of inside this Suica card. Uh, as, you, as you see, uh, and as you think, uh, maybe, this is very, very simple uh, text, uh, ASCII text uh, of a list of movement, very, very, a simple and uh, maybe trivial list of the uh, data. This is date, and uh, this is the name of the station. And this is the uh, uh, rest of the charge of money, uh, because this card is a rechargeable card for ticket riding, uh, 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 riding train, so. Indeed, uh, the bot uh, speaks about and compute and guess and analyze and decide arbitrarily uh, such and such and I think, uh, things uh, as I show you uh, in this work uh, from this uh, simply list. How? It's a very, very simple mechanism. Now, let me explain briefly. Maybe as, as you understand uh, very uh, rapidly, uh, this is a, a list of a particular name. Uh, so uh, basically, without exception, uh, the always uh, the most frequent station, most frequent name inside the particular list. And uh, in this case, Matsudo station is the most frequent. And uh, basically, it's the most frequent station connotes the uh, uh, particular things. That is, uh, that's the living place of the card holder. And uh, 80 or 90 percent, as I tested uh, with the real smart card uh, in Japanese audience, the almost the people who correctly detected where they live. Because the name of the uh, station is the most frequent. But I think it's important thing, uh, but uh, there is no such, a, no particular explicit data uh, that is uh, such and such place is a living place or address or so. There is no such explicit data inside the card. There is just uh, most frequent information. But at the same time, that connotes or indicates or implies that is a living place. This is a strange kind of, strange characteristic of data, I think. And next, also with that exception, on the, there is a secondary frequent station. In this case, this is Akihabara. And maybe, uh, 
Matsudo, if, if Matsudo is a living place, the second uh, frequent station is not a living place, uh, but uh, in a way, a uh, favorite place, oh, because of uh, someone uh, such and such, uh, the reason of the card holder. The first, uh, the calculate and the count, and as you know, the such uh, a <coughs> count of a particular number with the computer is uh, uh, tremendously and incredibly well, very, very easy and rapidly, as you know. It's a very simple thing. And after uh, count on uh, the number, just count the number of the station, and uh, if uh, the bot detects uh, the, this is a living place, the next uh, second frequent city or name of the station is a frequent or uh, favorite place, and the uh, bot uh, Output is uh, very, very uh, needless and uh, false good or uh, recommendation to the user. Also, and uh, uh, as I show you, the bot speaks about the the returning home or staying overnight. So, oh, this is also very simple. If bot detect the uh, living place, uh, detect or uh, at least guess the living place of the uh, card holders, uh, next the bot can see and uh, distinguish uh, the, the end of the day. Uh, for example, oh, this is a distinguish uh, uh, the end of the day, uh, January the 22nd. And uh, before that, uh, what uh, could uh, what the uh, body is uh, uh, what has completed to detect the uh, most frequent station and uh, such and such place is a uh, uh, living place, and uh, linked with uh, uh, the age of uh, the end of the day, and uh, see this data. That is, uh, simply put, oh, this day uh, maybe a card holder return their home. But uh, contrast to that, for example, oh, this station, uh, this day, uh, January 28th, and the uh, beginning of uh, January uh, 29th, and that is next day, uh, begins from uh, the uh, other station, uh, that is not the living place. Uh, this is a very clear thing. And uh, seeing that uh, the bot gets the uh, this is this day uh, the card holder uh, maybe uh, staying at the overnight outside of their uh, home also something like that. Uh, so oh, it's very very easy and simple calculation and computing. But I think oh. Uh, Though it's very simple and uh, uh, almost trivial or uh, calculation, however, our important thing uh, resides uh, in these facts, I think. That uh, is, in a way, at least uh, this simple example, a uh, simple list of data, is, uh, at least uh, it can be said, an implicit aspect of data. That means there is no explicit data that uh, such and such place is a living place or so, or address or so. But uh, just counting the number, uh, automated bot can guess particular things. So this simple list or uh, particular characteristic electronic data are is uh, there al there always be a particular blind spot or implicit aspect inside the data, and the computer can calculate very easily something uh, such a implicit aspect. I think it also or oh, some exaggerating word, but uh, at least uh, it can be a particular blind spot of data, implicit aspect. But uh, uh, in particular cases, it can be almost unconsciousness of data, 
by input by the each users. So nowadays I'm interested in um, this topic or this theme. Data is uh, explicitly input by the such and such users and stored, but uh, there always uh, such a data connotes and has a implicit information inside. And uh, such an implicit, implicit information can be uh, and changed by the bot or as, uh, to the very explicit one. Yeah, uh, this. The data, electronic data or, or text data or data uh, generally has a particular implicit aspect. And uh, such an implicit aspect uh, is uh, revealed by particular uh, characteristic of uh, mathematical or simple numbers or volume or quantity, not quality. In such a session, automated algorithm, both computer can compute and calculate such aspect and change some of them, very, very explicit one. This is uh, some strange or new or interesting, but uh, uh, things go battery, very, very dangerous aspect of uh, this uh, data, I think. Oh, what do you call? Something like that. Uh, this is a, uh, yeah. My RFID, uh, RFID work. You sure? St uh, next. What time is it now? Not sure. Thinking like that, uh, I'm now making uh, some more uh, complex or complicated uh, data processing work uh, based on the uh, same concept, almost same concept. I will show you on it briefly. Do it. Sorry. The, the inside of desktop is also my privacy. But uh, it's developed by C sharp. Field. Sorry, uh, there is no time for preparation, so I just just change the setting. Very simple thing. Uh, maybe uh, this is a uh, database address. I was thinking to setting up. 
in the local computer, but uh, maybe it can work. Oh. Mm. So, remote the car. Okay, uh, now is uh, almost uh, uh, no, 5.50 and uh, uh, also because there is uh, not uh, so much time uh, and uh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, this is Anyway, it is a work in progress work, and uh, it is not completed. And uh, adding to that, sorry about that. Uh, is setting up is a remote database based on remote database, and it could not. Uh, uh, there is a particular uh, setup miss of me, uh, so uh, I stopped uh, to show you. Anyway, uh, this is a. Uh, uh, let me explain about uh, briefly uh, what kind of uh, work I now making. It's uh, uh, the my work in progress work is uh, based on the so-called uh, maybe all of you knows about it, uh, Twitter, uh, the web famous web 2.0 uh, social network service uh, in the world, and uh, gathering the particular. Uh, user data uh, by a web uh, with a simple HTTP GET or HTTP POST and uh, stored in the uh, tremendous amount of data uh, in the local database of myself and the uh, uh, local desktop uh, and uh, uh, visualize uh, uh, various uh, kind of aspect of uh, data uh, of users uh, in various Meaning, and uh, adding to that, uh, uh, I represented uh, uh, such a data aspect by uh, some particular uh, information visualization technique, something like that. Sorry, but uh, I, I cannot show you today. ということで、えー、sorry about that, my missetting. And now uh, I'd like to uh, shift to the uh, question. And uh, if uh, you have a uh, question, uh, uh, I can uh, answer you. And uh, uh, if you like, uh, I'd like to discuss uh, various things uh, about the issue on the digital technology. Yeah, uh, just it. Uh, thank you for hearing.